Today on Mancrafts, we're gonna take this ordinary board and make it look old. And then you're gonna give it to somebody you love. Stick with me, I'll show you how it's done. Some of the things you're gonna need today, I'll show you right here on the screen. I went to my local Lowe's and picked up the materials I needed. And by the way, shout out to Lowe's, they were great. Not only did they have what I needed, but they also let my buddy Migo in the store with me. This right here, this glaze, is literally the key to the entire project. Then you need two kinds of paint. You need a base paint, and then you need a top coat paint. Whatever you want to choose, it's up to you. It doesn't really make a difference. It's kind of your preference. I chose a, uh, it's called a Satin Mystic Sea. This is a flat black, really kind of just a base undertone color. And then, like I said, the key, this is the glaze stuff. You can find it in Lowe's. I don't know, I'd probably find it uh, in, in Home Depot too, I don't know. Look online. Other things you're going to need, you're going to need a paintbrush, you're going to need some latex gloves, and of course, some accessories, some little accents. The power tool that we're going to use today, one of my favorite, a router. You don't want to hang up a square piece of board, man. It's lame. And this baby right here will do all you need to do. Cut through like a hot knife through butter. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to take this router, choose any bit that you like. The one that I have on here happens to do kind of like a rounded edge. Basically, you're going to take this, put the router up against the edge of the board, and run it. All right, now that you get that step down, you got yourself a nice rounded piece of wood. If you want to take something like a piece of sandpaper, sand down some of maybe these little hard spots here, that's fine. Now that we've got it routed, we're on to the next part. The next part is going to consist of putting down that base coat that we talked about. I prefer the flat black because guess what? It's just going to pop better once it's done. Once you see the crackling effect start to make its move, you're going to realize that going with a flat black is really the way to go. You can do all kinds of experimentation to figure out what really looks good. Maybe you have a different taste. That's fine. But for me, today, we're using black. So now we've got a board. We've got latex gloves if you need it, if not, whatever. We've got a brush, and then of course we've got our Rust-Oleum flat black paint like I was talking about. If you got one of these running around the house, it's pretty cool. If not, use a flathead screwdriver. Shake it up. All right, now let's open up this can. Let's get to it. There's a lot of jokes you can do with the, uh, with the glove thing, you know. Of course, I grab the board with the hand that's not using the glove. Once you're covered, you're gonna let it sit, let it dry, put a fan on it, anything like that. You're gonna wait, and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is gonna be putting the glaze on. All right, the next step, and the most important step in this whole process, this whole project, is gonna be applying this weather crackle glaze that Valspar makes. Now, this is the whole secret. Basically what's gonna happen is, you put your top coat on like we did. Then, we're gonna apply this glaze. Once we apply the glaze, then we apply the top coat. Once we apply the top coat, we get the crackle. You take your brush, you're gonna take your Valspar glaze, and you're gonna paint the board. That's it, you're gonna paint the board. You ready, Migo? You ready? So now basically, I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours, and then we'll put the top coat on, and then we'll get the crackle. All right, now that the glaze is dried, now you're ready for the final step. Final step's gonna be putting on that top coat that we talked about. Now, I picked us uh, up at Lowe's. It was one of the color samples, it was like three bucks, uh, right there in the front of uh, the paint aisle. So you're gonna have this blue on top and then the crack uh, bottom is going to show through and it's going to be flat. Now from everything that I see online, this is going to happen pretty quick. You're going to see an almost instantaneous cracking effect happen. So like I said, we're going to use this Valspar, we're going to give it a shot.
All right, check it out. So here is the board as it's pretty much dry. When I first put the top coat on, I started to freak out a little bit because I didn't see any crackling happening. I put a fan on it, it dried for a little while, and now I've got those big thick cracks in there, that look that we've been uh, going for. But what you're gonna need to pick up some twine, and then a, a hot glue gun. I use the Gorilla mini glue sticks here that I got at Walmart. So. We put our little ropes on either end. They do recommend putting the clear coat on this. I definitely recommend you do it. I can feel it's tacky. But look how good those cracks came out. Look how good. See, I thought it was really gonna turn out pretty crappy, but man alive, they, they, these, these cracks really came through pretty good. I'm gonna put a little note to somebody on this using these stencils here, and uh, you can do the same thing. Put a name. Uh, put a date, uh, it could be good as a gift, like a, a housewarming gift, you put a last name on there, anything like that. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Find some more videos in the playlist, leave some comments below, some feedback, anything you'd like to see me try next. And uh, every thousand subscribers, I will be sending out a free gift. So every thousand subscribers I hit, I will be sending out a custom made craft by the Minecraft God himself. Later. Nobody notices that. Nobody says that. <sighs> Me, hey, don't you want a leather man? What are you doing? Mother. Welcome to Man Crafts.